So this is the solution to the second midterm, the one on seven and equivalent. We will use first the classic method of solution, the open circuit test and the short circuit test. Begin with the open circuit test. We need to determine this open circuit voltage VOC and this node. To solve the circuit, we begin by identifying the nodes, reference, node 1, and node 2. Of course, V2 will be VOC, which is V7, and one of the values that we're looking for. To use numbers, let's assume that B is 0 in this case, and that E is 0 as well. So we have 7 volts and 2 ohms in this solution case. Um, assume the directions for currents in branches, like this, and we are ready to solve for the circuit. We use a MNA. Control equation for current X, this one. That current is the current in an RV branch, and we know the formula for that. That current is going to be voltage of the origin, V2, minus voltage of the destination, 0, minus the value of the source, minus 3 times Ix divided by the resistance in the branch, 2 ohms. And that is your control equation. KCL for node 1. For this one, current going in, 7 minus V1 over 2. And that is equal to the current in this branch, V1 over 2, plus the current in this branch, 4 amps. KCL for node number 2. Currents going in, 4 amps, and that is equal to currents going out, V2 over 4. Of course, plus this current, which is no other than Ix. Three equations, three unknowns, V1, V2, and Ix, and we solve for them. The control equation, KCL1 and KCL2, and we solve for them, like so. V2, which is also our open circuit voltage, is 8.889 volts. And that is also V7. So we have one down. V7 is 8 .8 8.8 periodic volts. For this case in which we have 7 volts here, B is 0, and 2 ohms here because E is 0. Now we go with the short circuit test. We begin by shorting the port in which we are trying to determine the short circuit current, identify the nodes, reference node, which is also this one, this is also reference node, because it's joined together by the short circuiting wire, a node number one. Directions for the currents in branches, like so, and we are ready to write our equations. How many of them? Well, let's not lose track before solving this circuit that what we are interested in is in finding this current, this short circuit current. Well, we need is a Gauss surface that will give us this current. How about this Gauss surface? In that Gauss surface, we know that this current is 4 amps. This current is the current in an R branch between the reference node and the reference node. This current is going to be 0 minus 0 divided by 4. This is 0 amps. What about this current Ix?
Well, let's see. In this case, IX is the current in an RV branch connected between the reference and the reference. So that current IX is, and let me write it here, IX will be voltage of the origin 0 minus voltage of the destination, the reference to 0, minus the value of the source divided by the resistance in the branch which we are saying is 2 ohms. But this equation is an equation that has only one solution, that Ix is 0. In short, in this Gauss surface, we know 1, 2, 3 currents, and we can compute the fourth one. And the solution is simply that the short circuit current is 4 amps going in, 0 and 0, and short circuit is 4 amps. We are ready. Let's go back and say the short circuit current is 4 amps. That means that R7 is V7 divided by the short circuit current 4 amps. That is 2.2 .2 periodic ohms. To complete this exercise, we draw the circuit. The seven and voltage, 8.8 .8 volts. And the seven and resistor, 2.2 .2 ohms. Now, to extract maximum power out of this circuit, we need to connect here an external resistor of 2.2 periodic ohms as well. That is part B. What about the power? Well, the power, the maximum power, will be the power in that resistor, which is the voltage here, which is going to be 4.4 periodic square divided by 2.2 4.4 periodic square divided by 2.2 ohms 8.8 .8 periodic watts thank you very much